hello. Today I'm going to make something called Prince Rupert's Drop. Prince Rupert's Drops are just tadpole chip pieces of glass. And you can see I'm just making it out of a normal piece of window glass. And I put it in a very hot flame. The reason the screen's just gone purple is because I put a filter over the, over the lens. That means you can see what's going on. Because if it wasn't there then the glow from the glass would be too bright for you to see anything clearly. Prince Rupert's drops are formed by dropping molten glass into buckets of ice cold water and then leaving it to cool. Because the exterior is cooled faster than the centre, tremendous amounts of stress are created between the outside layer and the inside. If the glass is viewed through two crossed polarised filters, the stress can be seen as multicoloured lines in the glass. Because of the huge amount of surface tension, the thick end is able to withstand large amounts of force, such as hammer blows. However, if you break the fragile tail, a shockwave travels to the thick end at 42,000 miles an hour, causing the glass to explode. Now, you can see that I've got it into a pear shape. That's because I can focus on just getting a small area of the glass blob hot. And the reason it's on a metal pole is because I can control it better. So that, that pink pot underneath the flame is the thing I'm going to drop the glass into and the lens going on and off shows you the difference between it being on and it being off. So I'm going to drop it and you can see I'm going to bring it really high and just let it fall into the glass. The pot even. Now, you can see it's got a, it's a really good tear drop shaped piece of glass and the reason it hasn't actually hit the water is because it cooled in mid air. So I'm going to have another go here and that's worked fine. Um, yeah, and you can see this one here. I've done lots and lots of drops but only one worked. I think that the glass wasn't hot enough work well. I've got the glass in the pliers and I'm squeezing the thick end quite hard and you can see it's not breaking or anything like normal glass would. So finally the bit you've all been waiting for I'm gonna make it explode so just watch. <laughs> 